And now, some more fun facts about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs ruled the land. But there were a lot of grand reptiles in the sea as well. However, these were not considered dinosaurs. These were considered plesiosaurs, nothosaurs, mesosaurs, and ichthyosaurs. And I hope I got all those right. Just how big were dinosaurs? Well, scientists have found that dinosaurs could have been about 100 feet long and as much as 50 feet tall. To put that in perspective, blue whales are bigger than any dinosaur that we've found thus far. Hmm. Dinosaur. Can you guess where the word dinosaur came from and what it means? And why do you think that someone would name those big lizards dinosaurs? Who even did that in the first place? Well, that was Sir Richard Owen. He founded the Natural Museum of History in London. So he named dinosaurs after the two Greek words, dinos, terrible, and sorrows, lizard. So, terrible lizards. So it's hard for scientists to have exact answers to questions about dinosaurs. That's because dinosaurs lived so long ago, it's hard for them to gather data. However, scientists have estimated that there's been at least 250 to maybe even over 1,300 different species of dinosaurs. Birds, crocodiles, and dinosaurs all belong to the same scientific class. That would be the Archosauriate class. You know those velociraptors from the movie Jurassic Park? Well, they were just as ferocious as they were depicted. In fact, their claws were about 15 inches long. So how do we even know that dinosaurs existed? I mean, it was so long ago, what evidence do we really have? Well, scientists have found many fossils in sedimentary rocks. Now these fossils contain bone and body parts from the dinosaurs. Also, scientists have found footprints, nests, and even dung left behind by the dinosaurs. Are you afraid of the dentist? Well, think about this next time you go in for a filling. The same drill that dentists use to drill your teeth is the same kind of drill that scientists use to clear and prepare dinosaur bones. What are the differences between the smallest dinosaur and the largest dinosaur? How big was the largest dinosaur and how small was the smallest dinosaur? Well, the smallest dinosaur was the Compsognathus, and it was about the size of the chicken. It was believed to live in Europe during the late Jurassic period. It ate things like lizards and insects. Historians have found records of discoveries of dinosaur bones in ancient Greece. Now, because they didn't know what dinosaurs were back then, they thought that they were giants and dragons. Dinosaurs have been around for a long time, but just how old is the oldest dinosaur? Well, according to scientists in Argentina, they have found the oldest dinosaur. They call it the Herosaurus, and they say that the Herosaurus was over 230 million years old. Archaeologists have found an Icostone, and it's thousands of years old. Now, interestingly enough, it's engraved with pictures, accurate pictures, of dinosaurs that we commonly know today. Coming up, a few videos about stem cells. What are they? What do scientists use them for? And what's the whole controversy? And in a future video, facts about ancient Rome. Thank you for watching. Please rate my video, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them for me in the boxes provided. Please subscribe so you can check out future videos. We have a lot of really cool stuff coming up. The magic crystal ball is sending me a message. It says, click the yellow button and subscribe. Archaeologists have discovered an Ica stone and it's over thousands, it's thousands of blah, blah. So how do we know that dinosaurs even existed? It was so long ago 
What evidence do we have? Well, dinosaurs, <laughs> I mean scientists, now, this asteroid caused a thick layer of iridium to cover the sun, so the dinosaurs didn't get the nutrition that they needed from the sunlight. And the plants died, and the scientists, the scientists had nothing to eat, so the scientists became extinct. God. Dinosaur. Hmm. I wonder what the word dinosaur means, and I wonder who came up with the name dinosaur. Well, that was actually Sir Richard Owen, and he's actually, he's the actual, actually, actual, actualness. 